there guys I'm just going to do a series of videos on eyebrow tattooing and how to take care of your um, tattoos as they're healing um, today is day one today I went and got mine done for the very first time um, it's taken me a while to do this because I've been super scared to do it um, but luckily I was um, I've known a beautician for quite a while and uh, she offered to do them for me uh, with her training and I was super lucky because she was amazing and um, yeah, I was one of the first ones that did it for her. So anyway, uh, this is day one. As I said, I'll go through um, most days to show you the, um, the changes in my eyebrows, see how they go. Um, but just to let you know what I have done today on day one, I've used some helichrysum on it. Helichrysum is like a liquid band-aid. Um, so if you get a cut, if you've um, cut yourself with a knife or something, you've been chopping up veggies or something like that, um, give it a clean off, run it under some cold water and put a little tiny drop of helichrysum on them. It'll um, bubble up, basically it pretty much instantly stops the bleeding. It's a it's brilliant stuff. I've used this many, many times for things like that because I'm super clumsy. Um, another really good thing that I have been told to use for tattoos, which is why I'm going to be do doing it, is Correct X. Now my protocol for this is using Correct X twice a day, once in the morning, one in the evening. I've also been told to use um, lavender and tea tree and frankincense. Just roll, just put a drop in my hand and just rub it over. So I'm actually on to um, my second one for today that I'm going to be using Correct X. So I've just put the tiniest, like you can barely even see what I've put on there. And so all I'm gonna do is wipe wipe it across and that's it because you don't really want to touch your eyebrows very much um, uh, because you don't want to ruin um, the colouring and everything um, of what's already just been done that day um, you don't want to disrupt it you don't really want it to scab over because it can cause scars when uh, tattoo uh, scabs over um, so yeah just rubbing a little bit of the oil all across noticing that I'm not going like that I'm just going in the one direction and that's it that's all I'm doing I'm keeping my face um, dry as well so I'm just using a face cloth to just clean off all the other areas that I can't that, um, get to so I don't wet my eyebrows and that's it that's for day one hi guys day two just putting on some more correct X under the brows I'll give you a close-up so you can see that they're still staying all moist and I haven't really got any crusting or anything yet and they're all feeling really good um, people are saying that it's really good for itchiness and that as well so um, I've been putting it on <clears throat> probably a few times a day um, and I haven't had any itching at all and quite um, apparently that's um, <clears throat> quite profuse with these so I guess we will see Good old correct fix. So this is just past day 14. Um, and as you'll see, their eyebrows are still very much intact. So the protocol I used from start to finish was I started off when I initially had them done. Um, I put straight away some um, helichrysum straight on there. Helichrysum is like a liquid band-aid. Um, and so I put that on um, diluted, but you can put that on neat as well. Um, if you get a cut or something like that, usually putting it on neat is actually better. Um, it works a lot quicker. It's um, the opposite to what we normally do, but um, it does work a lot quicker if you're, if you're trying to clot up a cut or something on your finger. So generally, if you did that on your eyebrows as well, it's the same kind of thing. They are cutting into your eyebrows, so you do need, um, you generally would be better off doing it neat, but you can do diluted straight onto the eyebrow. Um, then after that, I was doing, I did start off by doing um, correct X in the morning and in the evening, just rubbing across the eyebrow, not going like that, just rubbing across. Um, try not to disturb the eyebrows too much 
Um, but I, then I started to find I was getting a little bit itching. So then I would find um, if I did it three to four times a day, then I wasn't getting any itching whatsoever. Um, and it was healing really, really well. And as you can see, I've actually, well, you probably can't even see, but I've only lost about one hair out of all that, which is pretty amazing. And they didn't scab up um, at all. So um, the key is to getting on straight away the con and consistency is really, really important as well. Um, and um, listen to the, um, the beautician doing it for you as well, because they will tell you, um, don't wet your eyebrows for five days. Um, just, just follow that. Um, I did myself, all I did was got a face cloth, so I would wipe the face cloth all around here, um, or like across my eyes and then just on my eyebrows. If you do happen to get them wet, just dab them. Um, with a dry cloth. Um, I, I washed my hair on the morning of the of getting my tattoos done so that I didn't have to wash my hair again for a few days later. In fact, I did actually wait the full five days. I just used some dry shampoo in my hair um, to get me through. Um, and that's about it. But yeah, correct X and helichrism, thumbs up for um, eyebrow tattoos. I know lots of people have sworn by them for normal tattoos, but I was interested to see whether they'd be great for eyebrow tattoos and turns out it's awesome. Okay, hope that helps. Bye guys.